good if only to be a younger person with better eyes sharper eyes that is hey happy new year everyone I uh, came across this old white uh, sewing machine and all you youtubers out there your moms or your grandmas who may have the white and I'm not even sure what the model number is okay the model number listen to this folks it's a 1415 1415 if you can help me I need some operator instructions scanned and emailed to me and if you can do that for me let me know if you've got it and uh, send me a message on YouTube and I'll give you my email address I don't need the whole manual I just need specifically how to load this bobbin pro properly I think I've got it uh, I just finished sewing a patch on my hat but good lord it took like six attempts to get this bobbin properly installed and the tension set coming down this thing if you if you got instructions on how all this stuff is supposed to be wired up through here and brought in down to the needle so I'm, I'm talking maybe three pages worth scanned I'd really appreciate it uh, <clears throat> my son gave it to me he found it on the curb believe it or not the the needle was bent so I got me a universal needle for it and I've been practicing a little bit on just blank pieces of uh, fabric but uh, I think it's working uh, I know this knob if you push this knob it'll go in reverse that's that's easy enough and then the uh, stitches per inch or how many how far it travels I would kinda like to know if you could just tell me number four gives me uh, less stitches per inch or number one I think number one just barely uh, moved it along so I was actually getting a finer stitch and then this this little contraption up here would be nice to know I, I'm not really into fancy stuff so if it can go straight which is what I've got it set on that's fine but the number one thing I need help with folks is properly loading the bobbin without having to tip this sucker over on the side and, and you know play with the mechanism trying to figure out how it works I think I got it set though but every time I have to change colors I uh, run into problems reloading this I went to Walmart today and bought me some blue brown gold yellow and green and uh, I took my bobbin from this machine in there and found some replacement bobbin so that way if I need to change color I can keep the thread that's on here and I don't have to waste a lot of thread just to change the bobbin color so I've got multiple bobbins I think I should have got white because I sewed my uh, ham radio club patch on this green hat that I've had and I had black out here I used black on the inside but as you can see the liner of the cap is white so I probably should have used white thread on that you know, my son found this on the curbside down in Mobile Alabama and uh, he didn't have figured out and over Thanksgiving when my wife and I was down there visiting I saw it laying on the floor over there by his kitchen and I uh, told him hey I'll take that off your hands if you don't want it so he gave it to me and uh, I think I've got it rolling and I'm starting to become a little homemaker now I've got my little sewing kit bought me a little box to hold this in isn't that slick when I put the patch on the hat I used some little 
pins to kind of hold it in place and as my uh, sewing machine needle came to it I would pull them out and uh, I've seen sometimes where you can actually just sew right on over the pins and wait to pull them out when you're finished but that patch being round was a little more difficult especially on the hat because I wanted to make sure that I didn't get the sweat band so I had to kind of do it by hand had to crank this by hand because I didn't want to run too fast so I'm real happy with it but this is a model 1415 white I don't even think they make them anymore man if you don't use the sewing machine but you've got the operator's manual I would gladly love to have it if not uh, take some pictures of the loading instructions anything else you think might be handy uh, the parts as far as the proper needle that needs to be in it the one I've got seems to be working okay though and uh, that's just about it kind of weird me being up in this upper corner but uh, I haven't put out a video in quite a while so I hope you all have a prosperous new year and uh, I'm going to try to start thinking of some more projects I just sewed up the pants in my blue jeans where the, the first layer of threads is pulling out so I used the gold thread on that that worked out pretty good and uh, <clears throat> I have made some stuff sacks like for my Thermarest uh, sleeping pad and things like that. So I may be uh, making some more stuff sacks and looking for other articles of clothing that might be wearing out that I'm going to sew up before they actually blow out. And it makes it easier to repair it before it actually goes bad. Reinforce it, especially in the seat since I'm out big type of guy hey take care and if you haven't subscribed subscribe man I need some subscribers I need some more viewers so if you got friends that want to see a crazy old man out in the woods or fishing or hiking oh what else do I do just about anything I, I do some bicycling subscribe and every once in a while you'll get to see what the heck's going on here in mid-missouri hey i'm at hiker 7209 we'll see you